this is a nice idol. I can't even tell it's on, man. Sounds good. Oh! Oh! Um, so it took a bit to start there because it gets out of first and second gear so fast. That's crazy. Uh, I might actually go back after this and try this manual and just see what sort of acceleration first gear is going to give me. Um, see at what point it's going to redline. Oh, alright, it's a little self correcting, which is not ideal, but. Otherwise, it doesn't seem too bad. It just. Oh, it spends so long on those first five gears or the first four gears just changing gear. Um, oh, it's not fun to drive with all the self correction it's got going on. It, it seems to have a very long gear change. It might just be that it loses all audio for that time, so I'm noticing it more. Um, but I'm not a fan of the gear change just yet. Why was it not turning? Oh, come on, you hunk of metal. Alright, we're going to swap it to manual for a second. Now, understand that I don't really drive these in manual. But I just want to see. There's not really much point in having it in, th in first. And it's got pretty terrible acceleration in second. And again, there's not much point having it. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, I... I don't know, the freedom to change your own gears doesn't actually solve the problem with this car. So. To start with, the gearbox in this fucking sucks. Um, yeah, being able to change it to manual didn't make things easier. Like, look at that, I just I touch it and boom, it's changing gear, it's already in neutral. It didn't even actually move the vehicle to accelerate for that first like two seconds or so. That's not good. Not good at all. And it's self correcting, also not good. Don't take your hands off the steering wheel, lads. It, just, it sounds like it's struggling. So, the engine sounds, again, I'm not a fan of them. Um, just because the car does really sound like it is having trouble moving. Um, Speed-wise, it's not the worst. That was probably more my fault than the car's. Or I might actually say that was the door's fault because the stupid door was in the way. Just go, vehicle. Just get it to six and nitrox, all right? Just spam the X button, get her into sixth gear, and then nitrox so you've got the speed for it. Um, this car has horrendous acceleration, and that's purely because its low gears fucking suck. Um, it might even be a case that there's too much acceleration causing the issue. And that's why it's taking you out of your low gears so fast. But the range on these low gears is awful. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of self-correcting vehicles. If I'm honest. Just get on your wheels, you heap of shit! It can't get up the hill. Oh, I'm genuinely concerned for this car. I'm in the wrong spots. I felt like that was the case, but it also felt like I was in the wrong spot before. Um, but oh well, it happens. Just stop trying to correct yourself, alright? You're wrong, car. You can't be correct.
I would be grateful that I hit these if this thing had the turning circle of anything other than a bus. Or the ability to drive slightly uphill. And I'm done. I can't get any further now. Because this hunk of shit is a hunk of shit. Uh, yeah, like, this thing. Look at that. It's just, it's struggling to get up this hill. That's terrible. Onto the water realm. I have no faith in this vehicle. It, it lands steady at least. It's just... I know someone is going to be in the comments like, why don't you just do the back flip or the front flip to get into the route? Because I shouldn't have to. Okay, I shouldn't have to get off the door, wait for it to open and then drive in. It should just work the way it does in the movie. Or the way it did when the damn game first came out. When PA 2.0 was around, that thing worked. Then they put that shitty fucking pipeline door on it, and it's terrible. And it's terrible on pipeline too. That door is awful and shouldn't be in the game. It looks really nice on Reactor, I'll give it that. But that's because it is a door that opens as you approach it. It's not a door that opens while you're sitting on it or closes as you're going through it. Also, this has like 1600 Nitrox as a default. That's nice. It drops like shit though. gonna manually change the gears despite the fact that it's automatic and that's purely because it's fucking gearbox sucks ah oh. I had to nitrox to not fall off the edge but then I also had to slam the brakes to not fall off the other edge because this thing handles like shit handles like it looks let's be real it looks like it doesn't handle very well and I really can't wait to throw this off the second corner of the cliffside realm because it just can't handle corners that's if it can make it through the loop or through this flat surface oh it's just so bad now there is something I want to test here because in I think it was 2.0 or 3.0 one of them this car couldn't finish this track without nitrox Which says a lot. I know in the movies it can't finish this track either, but. Oh, that was the wrong way, but it's fine. Car doesn't care. Oh my god, wrong way again. It's just a bad vehicle so far. It might be the greatest thing ever on Cliffside. I doubt it. Oh. Alright, no Nitrox. Let's see if this can get up this hill because it couldn't in a previous version. Losing a lot of speed. Let's see if it loses it too quickly though. I feel like it's doing better than doing that update. It's going to make it. That's not an issue. It just struggles to get there. Like, oh my god. Too steep. That's what you get when you have a car driven by a Pokemon. Pork chop. Pork chop, pork chop. Starting this one a little early because this car really struggles to get up to 100. The thing is, it automatically takes itself out of first at, what, 10 kilometers an hour? Like, what is that? It gets to like 80 or something, it maxed, oh no, it maxed out at like, it was gear 2 that maxed out at 90. But, Jesus Christ, man. 
I think this one maxed out at like 30 or 40 or something, I don't know, but even then, get to there. It is not sturdy at all. That was a serious wreck. That was crazy. None of that was intentional. I wasn't trying to cut or anything. <laughs> it just, I couldn't contain the outrageous beast that is this vehicle. I don't have time to shift gears on here. Oh my god. Drive! The absolute burden. Oh. Kudos to you if you regularly drive this. You'd be amazed. If this is the only car you've ever driven in this game, you're going to be in for a rude shock when you drive something else in this game. Look, handling is beautiful. Okay, the way it took that corner was so lovely. I say the handling is beautiful. The handling is beautiful on that long corner. Um, the handling sucks ass on anything small so far. It still has the steering of a bus. It's just that that is a nice long corner for our bus. I feel like this probably steers worse than the sweeper. Maybe I should drive like the sweeper and try and steer it with the back wheels. Maybe put it in reverse. Oh! I'm gonna be real. It was taking that one a little nicer than I expected. It wasn't great, but it was nicer than I expected. Imagine if this turns into a full blown drift vehicle. That'd be <laughs> the icing on the cap of this shoddy vehicle's review. Um, so. Not good for drifting on long corner. How how is it for drifting on short corner? That was nice. Not against it. That was my problem. That was my fault. I shouldn't have gone so damn wide. I like that they've actually modeled the base on this one. They haven't done that on most of them. Most of them don't have what like underside models. So I'm glad that at least one car does because it looks so nice when this thing's rolling, which is convenient because it's easy to do so because it doesn't take corners very well. Oh, it takes tight corners of the drift. Relatively nice. It's still stiff as hell to try and drive. <sighs> Look, it sucked in the loop. It sucked in the water, it sucked on the pipeline. It took some of those tight corners nicely, but there is literally like 18,000 cars in this game that are better than this. It is terrible. It is only good on a long corner where the turning doesn't matter, or on a drift corner where, again, the turning doesn't matter because you're not turning, you're just throwing the car. At any point where you've actually got to turn this, it just, look at that. that is a wide circle. Do you remember Reverb doing this? Nowhere near that bad. It's not an optimal vehicle at all. Fortunately it doesn't bounce off these like ledges too hard, it mostly just slams into them and crashes, but it's just I'm not a fan, um, and once this thing like has any speed, if it starts turning like that, you are not pulling it back. And that's a problem. Like, I kind of show you up here. Ooh, throw some mind drops in. Oh, my gearbox is so bad. Throw it up here. It hits here. I will not be able to save this at all. There is no saving that once it comes off. Not a good car. Not a good car at all. 